Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Derek Fisher getting ready for the holiday weekend here. Some changes afoot. You can feel it in the air today, a little bit muggier outside. Area high pressure is setting up off toward Bermuda. That's going to pump up the heat and humidity. The warm front that's been causing some clouds today, that will slowly be lifting its way northward as we head into the day on Friday. And we'll watch this whole stretched out funnel boundary. This is going to be lined up around northern New England this weekend, and that's where a lot of the storminess is going to reside. So here's how it all pans out tonight and into tomorrow morning. A chance for some showers and a few rumbles across New Hampshire and far northern Massachusetts. And then we'll get back into the sunshine for Friday. Then in the afternoon and evening, some scattered thunderstorms develop. They'll be most likely north and west of Boston. Same idea for Saturday. Most of the storms north and west of Boston popping up in the afternoon. So interior New England, very stormy. Less so for southeastern Massachusetts. And then that front will be moving through as we head through the day on Sunday. And with that, a few more scattered showers and storms. So tomorrow's high temps in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees, very warm. After some morning cloudiness, we'll get into the sunshine, pure summer day, and definitely the sunblock if you're heading out toward the beach. Then this weekend, it's upper 80s to low 90s, both Saturday and Sunday, the humidity high both days. It peaks on Saturday, gets a little bit drier on Sunday, but really just for areas west of Boston, it'll be very humid down toward the Cape and the islands. Overall, our highest risk of rain is Saturday night into Sunday morning before we start to dry things out. So breaking down our thunderstorm chances, very likely interior New England on Friday. A low chance for some storms to make it to the Boston area during the evening. And I don't think we'll get any rain down towards southeastern Mass. Then we head into Saturday. A similar idea. Highest chance will be north and west of 495. But they will push their way eastbound overnight. So Saturday night fireworks, we'll have to keep an eye to the sky. Then on Sunday, a decent chance for some pop-up showers and storms, especially inside of 495. So eastern New England, the highest chance for the second half of the weekend. And if your outdoor plans have you camping or spending some time outdoors, again, northern New England over these next few days could see some isolated rain totals over four inches. So flash flooding will be a concern, especially in Vermont. So here's your seven-day outlook. And if you look toward Monday, we dry things out. Lower humidity, mid-80s. Really nice day. Just a slight chance of a pop-up afternoon shower. Fourth of July looks perfect. 83 degrees, low humidity, bright skies. We'll take it. Warm and dry on Wednesday before a chance of showers on Thursday.